My name Jane. Jack. Rear thrusters. Jack. Big big basket. Uh, Jack. Right, let's take them. <laughs> okay, sorry about this, people, but apparently the game is refusing to work for some damn reason even though it worked perfectly last week like i'm starting i've va i'm validating the, the game on steam multiple times now but every time it gives a fatal on error on startup and uh, yeah i i i'm you don't got anything it says all files successfully validated and i start it up again and it runs through first time setup for some reason, even though it has already been, it already has done that before. Mm. So, yeah, if it refuses to work, well, I didn't plan for a backup this time, because well, it worked perfectly last time. I I get, it goes to the game, but it then gives fatal error. Address is zero x zero file name not found. And uh, yeah, OBS is not catching it, even though it is making sounds. Can I just move that aside and tell it to fuck off? Like, hmm. This is weird. Okay, OBS is catching the game now, but it's not progressing past that image. Yeah, it just crashes. Uh, okay, I'll do one more look around. Uh, 
fatal error address XOX. Let's see. That, um, it points to a YouTube video. So I'll just silence the game for a minute. Or play the, the game recording for a moment because nobody is listening for this. Right. Uh, to, uh, coming with Unreal Engine. Yes. What is the solution then? Uh, to, to, to lo file location of the game. And yeah, we are adding at least 15 minutes of on the stream for this. If the game decides to work, if it decides to not work, then yeah, we'll have to cancel. Okay. Common. Uh, dishonored. Oh, oh, it's the bit. It's a physx d the dll program problem. It seems. Uh, if I just run it through there. I hope that means it's easy to fix. Yeah, I'm just uninstalling the physics at the moment and reinstalling it again, which goes super fast because it's rather old tech by now. Uh, yeah, you could say I should have tested this before by starting up the game early. But yeah, like I said last time, it worked perfectly. This is actually believe the first time that I've had problems with this game. Okay. Yes. Starting it up again, seeing if it will work no. now. Okay, no error message. Yep, that seems to have fixed it. Just simply reinstalling Physax. Uh, okay. Unmuting that. And yeah, we'll be going for another 15 minutes extra on top of this now already. Five minutes of just... Ugh. Uh. Yeah, Unreal Engine, good until it stops working. But yeah, yeah then <laughs> five minutes late. Uh, hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, and well, <laughs> goodbye to anyone who ran off from that horrible start. And welcome back to Dishonored uh, with me and Strakir here. Hello. And yeah, because everything went to shit, I'm I've forgotten my script again. No, not really that I have a script or anything. I, I don't have anything written down. But yeah, last time we started with this game. Uh, yeah, we play as Corvo Atano. And well, we've been dishonored by being framed for murdering the Empress. Uh, got thrown into prison. Got bailed. No, not really broken out, but got helped in escaping. And now we're part of the Loyalist faction who are actively working to find the Empress's daughter. Yep, and um, screen share, please. Yep. Sorry. Like, no every, time this something, every time something like this goes wrong, I stumble with things. And yeah, that's a... Uh, Pretty little mug. That is the mask that Corvo is wearing now. And this is India's backyard. Oh yeah, we are going for a low chaos. So low kill. Yeah, the little one. Playthrough. I inspected them myself. Keep working. And moving no more. <laughs> yeah, Dunwall here is a bit of a shithole. One, two, three, heave! Okay. Bloody heck! Oop. We have someone there, but not a guard at the very least. We are never met. Yeah, we should. At all costs, avoid murdering civilians. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. Yeah. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. That was concerning to hear. Yep. Now let's see. We can blink around Attention like this. Citizens. Hmm? 
Following direct contact with an infected or weeping individual, you are required to remain in isolation fight going on for there. two continuous days. If signs of infection occur, report for transport to the flooded district. Let's see. Oh, miss. Uh, what do they mean it weeping? Basically, those are the people infected with the plague. Rule of Boom shall nearby. Equip the heart. Okay. Oh, over there. We, we were further away from it now than we were earlier. Well, we may like to want it, so. And yeah, this will basically be a. Uh... Oh, there's one as well. No, oh, sounds like something is going on. Attention, okay. Dunwall citizens. There's a stone there, but there's also no, there's a rune there, but there's also something going on there already. Are they throwing rocks at it? Hmm. Okay, back to the blink ability. Our target is over there. Somewhere. It would help if I didn't fall down. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> They're throwing stones at her. Uh, yeah, let's not get involved. Objective field optional granny. Ram. It, it didn't give us even give us an objective there. What the? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should reload that for that. Feels like it, uh, we were supposed to help her. Yeah. So, that will be the first and only uh, reload. Well, maybe not the only reload, but that will be the only occasion of saves coming, I'd say. Unless it's of, it's of course on the... No, it is not on the mission fail. And you probably could have seen it in there. The last time that I played this game was eight freaking years ago. Keep them in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Okay, this time hey, let's just be a bit it? more proactive. I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little Ooh, okay. not the heck? possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Okay, that guy had something going on with his mouth. <laughs> Alright, let's find somewhere for him to dump. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he definitely has something going on there. So, yeah, let's just ignore that and move on. Oh we need to blink where that's actually. And that's just out of reach. Okay. Alright. Back to sneaking. Copper wire for a bit of cash. Then we can head back up here again. Citizens, following direct contact with an infected or weeping individual, you are required to remain in isolation for two continuous days. Did we? If signs of infection Did we get hurt there from something? Transport to the flooded district. And wait, this time they're not here. Eh? Okay. I've been not around yet. That's not a nice thing. Okay, uh, six. Bone charm over there. And one over there. That's... I re remember something about this character. Yes, I will. I believe 
see here is a bit more important than just a random NPC. Can I unequip, can I holster my weapon? So we can just loot everything here. So, um, metal, okay. We have 50 coins. <laughs> you didn't need to throw that, but okay. Uh, you did it, I thought it was someone else. Let's see. I, the heart should be able to tell us things about people as well. Long ago, Granny Rags danced at a court. Then begged to marry her. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, Granny, Hello. Granny. Yeah, she is not hostile, otherwise she would have... Well, otherwise we wouldn't have to talk option here. So we could just choke her the hell out, but let's talk instead. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Okay, deal with Granny's gentlemen callers. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. I'd kind of forgotten that she'd be around here. And, well... Mm, if I was a bird, I'd want to... yes, I would. Granny is up to some things, you could say. Uh, the powers you obtain from rooms can be used creatively to defeat enemies or move through the, uh, the environment. So blink from roof to roof, possess rats. Okay, that's basically extra talk on the powers. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Yep, he will pop in every now and then when we find a ruin. Let's see. Let's go with this one. If actually, oh no, we are one room short on that. But bend time will be very useful for us as we go. I'll be happy. Oh, no, that's not yeah, go ahead. Thing, just garbage. Uh, garbage. But I have some lore videos. Not much though. But only enough to slight better grasp of this world, even though very slight. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Let's get a drink. I'm dry as an overseer's prick. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just Bottle Street rules. Okay. Let I am in. curious if I can just choke one of these out. Or one of these at a time. I am in here, this guy's peripheral vision at the moment. Uh, uh, well, so much for stealth. Uh, uh, well, I got one of them. Yeah, there isn't really a darts mechanic in this game. 
Oh yeah, so much for uh, low, <laughs> low chaos for now. Send us foot not bullets, okay. Well, uh, 103 is better than we had at the freaking prison. Okay, Granny. See, is no, there? no, that's not a nice thing. Just. Oh my dear, I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Okay, she faced a bit through the wall there. Mm. If I was a birdie, I'd and, well... Yes, I would, indeed. Still a bit of an old game, but not as ancient as some of yeah, the ones that we played. I think the little birdies are sad today. Yeah, big yeah. blocks. Yeah, right, here it is. Another room. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani. Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. Yeah, Granny okay, is... Shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Granny could uh, blend in with a bunch of cuckoo birds because... <laughs> yeah. Oop. Oh, that was her again. She's cuckoo. Yeah! Now we have a bit of a side quest, and hello. Okay, random elixir, I'll just take that. Attention, watch enough sidetrack for the moment. Now, over here is where we need to go. Only there's one of those walls of light in the way. And we could just disable it by pulling out the power supply. I'd forgotten about the guards. Yeah. When did we have another room nearby where they were dumping the bodies? Yeah. Uh, what was the button for zoom again? Let me check. It's the controls and then the, 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 the. there was a zoom function, I believe. I think we unlocked one. Yeah, they all uh, move the mic closer there we to go. me. Left alt. Okay. Three, hey. Yep. We're wanted. But uh, yeah, there is a bone charm across the way there, though we'd have to get past some guards. The pain in his head drives him to do unspeakable things. They are burning whales. Okay, for the moment though. Let's just try and make some progress, at least, in this <laughs> stream. He misses the days he sent to see. BLVD? What the heck does BLVD mean? Boulevard. Oh. Mm. 
There's something going on here. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach it to your pockets and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There was the wall of light over it. Oh. There's the other. The other just went around the corner. Yeah, there he is. A bit of an inelegant time to strike. Okay, he's just moving back again. The doom of Pandesia has come to the city. I want to try and I want to try and beat you know, this game as thoroughly as possible. So yeah, if he goes back again, we can take him, or will we can take out his friend and then him? Because there's someone in, they've locked inside here that I remember. They should give us a bit of a side quest as well. Now, are you going again? And yeah, it. I'll have to get used a bit again to the combat of this game because with the right mouse button we use our left hand and with the left mouse button we use our right hand. Which is totally going to get annoying. Let me out. Hmm. Okay. I get the feeling he isn't going to move so soon again. Again. Someone's about to get shanked. Nope. And he's alerted, oh, but he I'll doesn't know you. where we are, even though he looks straight at us. Well, it doesn't seem to be hurrying you. I know well, you're here. I don't think he has a good uh, dark vision. Yep. Okay, let's take that. Mm, hello there. Anyone there? I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Yep. Now we have a little shop open. And I think he might have some jobs for us to do as well. In the meantime, we can just loot the place ourselves. Some coins. Let's Money. And yeah, obviously when things are going shit, uh, shitty people are going to be even shittier. Are you a dead counter brave man? But must have skill in numbers and a vigorous constitution. Ten coins per day. The satisfaction of service to Dunwell. Uh, you couldn't pay me enough in the world to get near <laughs> play corpses. Ugh. And there's Piero's remedy. Ah, there he is. Hey, okay, what do you got? Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Let's see, some health, some... Ah, blueprints. These will be useful. Though we can only buy one at the moment. The elixir for Sokolov's health elixir. Piero can use this to distill a liquid that restores health and protects against the rat, the rat plague. Or a dark, dark ram for increased stability in a multi lens array. Piero can use this to upgrade the magnifying lenses in your mask. Okay, so it'll allow us to zoom in further. Yep. But for now, let's not, because we are yeah. low on him. Yeah, and also, fun fact I can translate his name. Oh. 
It's Danish for Griffin. Okay. Lucky enough, the Danish have that word only for Griffin, unlike us. For us, it's Grief. Let's not say it's the rat keyword. For us, it is Grief. Grief is actually used for either the mythical beast or. Well, for uh, grabbing. Didn't need to blink there, really, but uh, well. We could. Oh, there's rats down there. Let's see. Oh, I'm not thinking about this, it's confusing. If you, if you say Griffin, you either say the Griffin or Arrested. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I believe this place is a mini map of its own. Or Eradication of Black Sally. Except from a popular story of crime and daring by Jules Robin and the City Watch, before slugs are rented streets in the distillery district, there was no boss more ruthless, violent, or dedicated to squeezing the average citizen for coin and Black Sally. Like so many from Morley, she was pale-skinned and green-eyed, with uh, hair as black as the void. They, s <clears throat> they say that she started young, and as a girl, she'd stun a man with her looks, coming up, coming, yeah, coming upon him in an alley, then smile a one-sided smile, and suddenly run him through with a knife. She'd have his money and be on her way before he breathed his final breath. As a boss, she was worse, ruling over the meanest street gang Dunwell had seen up that, up to that time. Her operation touched everything from shipping to prostitution. She even had a racket going with the Baker's Guild, a finger in every pie, indeed. <laughs> One man, kept, Watts Captain Jules Robin, made it his mission to stop her and kept the case going for half a decade. Black Sally met her end when Robin uh, had his men light smoke fires in barrels near the warehouse where she hid out during the day. As she and her gang rushed into the streets, terrified ain't the building was burning, Captain Robin and his top officers threw net over them and ran them all through with blade and pistol shots. I'm pretty sure once you've got the nets over them, you basically have them, but... Like we said, Dunwall is a bit of a shithole on all ends. Yeah. And th there was that door earlier to the artist's uh, apartment or something. I believe that might be a little zone of its own to load into, so let's not touch that at the moment. For now, we should... We need to go to the other side here, but these walls are too high for us to blink to. So we either have to go down to the ground, well, we'll have to go down to the ground no matter what. So we either go down to the ground, dodge the guards, or there's a passageway through there. But then we have to risk the risk the rats. Unless there's probably we a use the rats. Now, if we had possession, we could. We don't have it at the moment, and we don't have enough runes to get it. We could get bent oh. time though, uh, and probably just run past the bastards. That could work. I was otherwise just thinking of tricking them to run into the rats. Yeah, that would lead to more chaos. So oh, true. Slow the world around you until you press again. Okay. First, though, let's still avoid... Oh, yeah, never mind. They're going at the rats themselves already. Okay. Oh. Uh, well... <laughs> Both of our problems are fighting each other. So all we have to do is sit back <laughs> and wait. It's going to be used the opportunity to sneak past. Never mind. There's one swarm left. If they can if they run into that, they they should be able to deal with it if they didn't just did they just vanish or something. I, I think they're hiding in the robo. Might be a rest nest. Hmm. Either way. Oh, I, I thought it was open from memory, but apparently, uh, again, I was wrong. Hmm. The rat probably could have fit in 
through here if we had possession. Hmm. That just means we'll have to sneak past some other way. Yeah, I, I could have sworn I remembered some way to sneak past oh, around here. There is that doctor's offices over there, but that isn't of importance to us now. We will be dealing with the Bottle Street gang later. Okay, maybe we can just sneak past through here anyways then. I think that is a dead end over there. Where are the guards? So almost fell down on top of the corpse down there. There's, there's one, there's one, and there's one on the other side. It's a good thing that our mana recharges for a bit. But not completely, it seems. And yeah, they're actively locking people into houses and such. At the very least, locking certain doors up and others not, huh? You're supposed not to pay! Mm, wouldn't say that... yet. Hmm. I want to try and keep the killing to a minimum. And there I understand are quite a few de guards here, so let's go here. There's only one here that we need to dance. If he is still here. And there's one up there talking now, I think. Don't... Where the heck did he go? Oh. So much for dead end here, huh? Well, I guess I should not be going on memory with anything in here. Fifty years old, at least. So this could be one of the Empress. Forget his old ad. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is ours. Come on. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Look like twenty-five to me. Look here. It's twenty. It's five each, Countin' Boo. You want me to check your pockets? Let it go, kid. Don't call me, kid. You think you can cheat me? Well, again, two of our problems dealing with each other. And yes, that's them breathing. That's them lighting alcohol up to fight you. Oh, there's another. What? What? We're being... This will not count on us, for this is their own work. Is that? Yeah. Not sure if there's an actual way to track chaos other than the uh, end level uh, descriptions or statistics. What? Hmm. Okay, I should be able to just grab one of these guys when the other isn't looking. Keep an eye out. We got or company. Huh? If they didn't change route, that was. Someone's still prowling. Or we just sneak past like this. Oh, hello. Gotta keep my eyes open. The river rushed in when the barrier broke. A whole district went dark. A street dog. A knife for hire. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Okay, we just slip past. Not too well defended with hey, well, come on. Somebody about. Watch it. I'll find you, you hagfish. Somebody get over here. Watch it. Sorcerer. Get around him. Uh, yep, I saw this a bit earlier. Let's beat him to the impossible. Right. I 
And they saw me still. Okay. <laughs> so much for hiding over there. Uh, I think. Can we just rush through this? Okay. Bye bye, suckers. Yes. <laughs> Especially since there's probably three guys waiting to stab me in the ass there. Let's see. Yep, uh, no effect on us here. Oh, I thought you were to read that. Uh, I think we've read that before. Uh, yeah, let's see. Campbell plans to poison guard Captain Kurno. A low-ranking overseer has been blackmailed into putting the poison into the drinks they are uh, they are to have after the meeting. Griff saws items on block docks. Bottle Street Gang has a bootleg elixir still inside the old whiskey distillery. They're creating their own version of Sokolov's health elixir and selling it. Holds Clavering Boulevard to beyond the first zone of light. The Bottle Street Gang controls the side streets. Granny Rags live in an apartment at the far end of Endoria. And here's what there was in the loading screen. Oh. My overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalists, Martin, is being held there. Free Martin and allow him to escape. We have no items. We have some task. Just kill him. Speak with Overseer Martin. Take the blackmail journal. Okay, that's should... your... Spare Captain Kurno. Ensure Captain Kurno survives his visit to the office of High Overseer. And break into Galvani's flat. That's for Granny Rags. But that is outside of this area. And... Okay. Hello, Martin. I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? It's not so bad in here, except I miss your wife. Ha! You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. But that'll change. Will it now? <laughs> uh, hello, Martin. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. How the hell did you even get in this? I have poor circulation, and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me, or at least go gather some firewood. <laughs> okay, even the smartest when he's even in the freaking stockades. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May okay. all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Okay, that's a new one. <laughs> oh. We have our way out then. And let's hide this asshole somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I'd say that says something about these overseers when... Yeah, I don't know what the hell he got caught for. But basically leaving him out to die from exposure. Might as well hang him up on a freaking cross. Let's see. Wanted for the most heinous murder of our fair empress, Jessamina Caldwin. Corvo Otano, still at large, 30,000 coins for capture or dead. The reward will be paid by the City Watch in addition to rewards offered by private citizens or outstanding organizations. The offenses of this man are high crimes under the law of the City Watch and the edicts of our brave Lord Regent. Yeah, motherfucker. Okay. Map. 
not much use at the moment, but it does tell us we are the offices, right in the middle. Yep. Corvo so. can't really jump, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. The heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer. Or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Die. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Let's see. Notes. And objectives. Mission clues. There is a method of excommunicating overseers. Even the high overseer himself. The instructions can be found in the book. That is one way of getting rid of him. Yeah, you can Basically, take down your targets, quote unquote, non lethally. <laughs> Let's see, not much to go on here. There I have I do remember these ledges. They have they just love those things. So if we pinch to get up there, we can basically move around on scene. Question, of course, is getting up there first. Because our blink is a rather short distance at the moment. And with these lamps, it's better to aim a bit low. I was complaining, and now we're up here already. And now I just realized, why does building have ledges like these? Good question, actually. Like for the most part, you'd be catching water like this. Yeah. I guess it was a form of uh, thing to make it easier for window cleaners or house cleaners before they had the scaffolding and such. Though, it does look like an unsafe way to walk around just to clean uh, building walls. Yeah. Play away pathways. There are many pathways through your missions, front streets, alleys, windows, rat tunnels, rooftops, and waterways. Experiment with different ways to reach your goals. Yeah. And, uh, hello, feathers. And, uh, well, it should be expected that they'd have some runes around comp that comes confiscating. Squad after what happened last night? Yes, of course. And Slackjaw there. Okay. <clears throat> Once they are brought here and leave, the overseers always find the guild they seek. Let's see. Where have the overseers gone? They wade through chest-high waters with their hounds. Okay, we need to be careful now since, well, these windows are actually open. No. There is... This meeting chamber is the first point where it's, there should be many ways to get through something. Like, we could... We know he's going to poison the other guys, so we could sneak in and stay hidden and switch the glasses when, you know, <clears throat> when the opportunity arises. But there are a few other options as well. And I'll try not to save scum. So let's see what path we end up going on. It's in the no, it's on the chimney there. I, I hear the watch is having trouble holding the side streets. Bunch of children playing games, that's all it is. Switch poison to Campbell's side. Combine poison both. That would be bad. Split and spill the glasses. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. They're searching district by district. 
Oh, selfie! Don't you understand? I thought I had the freaking. I hope you I thought I had the freaking blink equipped. One of the servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now, if you join me, men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies, and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. What a... Who's been in here? I owe you an apology, Captain. This is hardly the hospitality I planned for you. Well, time to do this the hard way. What was that, Campbell? Never mind. It's a stroke of luck for you, Captain. I'm forced to break out the real vintage. Leave the men here. But we'll have to share with all of them. <laughs> Very well, Campbell. As long as we get this little dispute settled. So... Yep, yeah, now they're moving somewhere else. And we can follow them to where they're headed. If we can try and stay hidden, that is. Luckily, like many people, these overseers don't bother looking up much. I missed the gap. How did that guy not hear us? I think someone did hear you and yeah, it's they... now. Let's just take him out of the equation. Go. Ooh, he could have spotted us. Okay, you are here, Holger Square, a lot of places. We need to keep track of them. Where did they go? Kennels? They went somewhere I missed. I don't think they went down here. Hmm. Oh, they, they actually did. Okay. And hello, secret room. Oh, hello, Steven. Wait, why did I go Swedish better? Uh, you see this what? painting? Believed to be early Sokolov. Something primal in there. The way the brushwork slashes. <laughs> And that also works. Well, the rats can fight over your guts. You have my thanks. Though by all rights, I should probably arrest you. Huh. You seem familiar. Even with that mask on. No matter. This once, I'll just go my own way. And you yours. Okay. Well, that's Castillo's uncle saved, at least. Uh, if I still had one of these sleep darts, I could have uh, probably used that on him. And yeah, killing a target will lead to the uh, high chaos. Well, it does a lot towards the high chaos effect. But if sleep right. darts here. Are uh, those brass? Yeah, uh, brass what, you mean? Or whatever. No. Yeah, it, it, it pointing at the screen doesn't work. I'm not pointing at them. Look at the shower. The actual chair, not the bench. Yeah. It's on the floor. 
there's a bunch of bras here, but I don't... A bra... I thought you meant with double S. Like, <laughs> the metal. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I've been playing <laughs> Minecraft, so of course my m mind is more on metal. Let's see, Campbell. I'm not sure how my predecessor operated, but from now on, if one of my girls tries to blackmail you, you send her back to me at the Golden Cat instead of concocting some plan of your own. I've had to replace three girls in as many months, and you can imagine a business of carnal pleasure isn't booming in this plague-stricken hole you call a city. Madame Prudence. What? And no. here we have that painting minus the drink at the start. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, there's a whorehouse being run by some com someone called uh, Madame Prudence. Most likely completely for the irony. And we're just taking that. Yeah. Curse those fools at Coldridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? Hi, Remmel, the Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside, at least. Bastards. And let's see. Am I the only one that really wanna punch him? Yeah, there's no need for it, though he is in the position for a spanking. Wait, wait, wait. Move closer. Let's see. Deck I don't want to think I didn't actually spit, I just fake spit them. Did you just pick up a plaque with Unreal Engine's logo on it? Yep. Uh, <laughs> I think we've seen that one before. Um, why? Because money. Okay. You get money to hit uh, a boss's end. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll have to say, I have to admit, I did sort of cheat a bit with this because I looked around on TV tropes and yeah, it mentioned that if you turn this off at the right moment, it'll start on them both because otherwise he would have stabbed him in the back. And we've also seen that one before. But yeah, I guess the only... Hmm. We we can't pull that out. Um, yeah, there. You could just take Campbell out as we, uh, early, but that'll make if uh, if Castillo's uncle spots you, then he'll turn hostile. If he if you uh, take Campbell out at any point before he tries to kill him, he will turn hostile if he spots you, and that goes to a different area. They can doggos. All right. And let's move away from the loud pistol. Uh. And yeah, we could go to Samuel, but there are things to find in here. I'm not really sure if you can really return to these locations later on. Yeah, we, we did have some other optional quests that might be good to do. There's also something iron in the towards the the kennels. I, actually, I think the kennels might be the where we need to go to uh, get hmm, to get the Samuel. Probably. And yeah, the question is, do you want to go and get rid the rest of the rooms or such? Uh, we'll see if we can return later. For now. Let's take a quick look at what the hell is over here. Hmm. But yeah, I think with Campbell dead, this mission is highly leaning towards high chaos. Yeah, we just have to start making sure we don't lean more. 
Yeah, there, there are mul there are multiple factors to it, of course, like just killing a bunch of guards. Yeah, that also um, turns things to high chaos. So basically, here you get good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a militant cult. You can guess what they use the dogs for. Oh, I heard someone pull their blades. Let's grab that. Righteous monster. That's a new one. Oliver, I've taken the loot we've gathered and stashed it in the incinerator room. It's under the dead mound, so no, no, so nobody will dig around and find it. Look through your strictures to figure out the door code. Lying tongue, wandering gaze, iron mind. I trust you're devout and clever enough to figure it out. Oh, and be mindful of rats. More and more have been gathering since old Finn keeps forgetting to burn the hout corpses. Burke. Tongue, gaze, mind. Excerpt from a hound trainer's guide. From each litter, there's usually somewhere shy of four good pups where we are no, we, he's drowned around. Them that remain spend three or so months suckling from their mother as before we start them up, up with the training. It's simple at first, we're standing sticks and sitting still on command, only pissing outside and the like. But by the eighth month, we get them hunting for scented sack dolls hidden in a shrub forest, killing wild pigs on a command and taking a man in padded armor down by hanging onto the forearm. So. That last part, at least, is similar to police, actual police dog training. Because they're trained to go for the arm, not for anything else. If they're trained well, I'd say. Maybe for the leg. At the end of the first year, we graduate the ones that have learned and shoot the ones that haven't. The overseers uh, take them after that, and we never see them again. Except once. Walking down Clavering Boulevard, an overseer passed me, preaching about the litany on the white cliff and the evils of witchery. And sure enough, his hound started whimpering and wagging its tail. That's how I knew it was one of mine. Whelped up from a pup. Okay. Don't specifically see how he could have identified one by that. Oh, spring razor. The spring razor trap can be attached to any surface and by aiming at it and pressing well, the right mouse button. And, well, you can see what it does on the right picture. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shrapnel mine. Let's move that away. It's more like slice and dice grenade. It does sound terrifying. A grenade that slices you up. Okay, where's that overseer? He wasn't there. Oh, there he is. Oh, and he has a dog. That'll be bad. Someone's supposed to be on duty over here. <clears throat> oh, and there's another. And they will notice if others are gone, apparently. Okay. That's good for us. Because then we can lure them out. Okay. And I like that I do like that we can start moving <laughs> during the carrying animation already. Oh, the dog's there. Oh. Huh? And the dog smells us. Dogs in games can always be annoying like that. Basically, that guy is immune to getting stealth attacked. So, let's see if we can get around the other way, then. I should lean more. Let's see. Sick hound. Voracious has fallen ill. I have got. To, uh, I have gone to fetch some medicine for the hound, but in the meantime, do not open his cage. He's prone to fits of violence, and this would endanger the other overseers in the building. Hound Master Wharton. So that's one way to cause a distraction, so to say. 
but that would likely just lead to more chaos, literally and mechanically. So let's just try and ghost our way through as best as possible. Someone in there. And I think we might be clear in this area. I think we got the guy that was walking in here before. Opened with a lever. You mean that lever in there? And yeah, we can we can teleport straight through things. Seriously, who would put the release for something inside the thing that it releases? Is there an opening? Or a, or this? Uh, which do I want? That's F. And, of course, it's missing his freaking handle. Okay. Seven strictures. Excerpt from a commonly distributed uh, overview of the seven scriptures. Surround your innermost being with these strictures and you will be safe. Seven strictures are core principles thought and reinforced by overseers across the Isles. From these principles stem all manner of rules, social codes and beliefs from about the cosmos. Wandering gaze, lying tongue, restless hands, roving feet, rampant hunger, wanton flesh, errant mind. So that's 217, I think, with the code for the stash. All these behaviors must be restricted in order to keep one's heart free from malevolent influence. Their influences, they are the inroads of the outsider. I don't know what the... I'm not going... don't know what this will do, so let's not use it. It might set the dog free. It says it would. It said dog case cages over it. Yep. it probably, yeah, it probably would open everything then. There we go. Since this was... Oops. Um, that'll be someone else's problem for now. Okay, there it is. A rewire tool. Good amount of stuff. Scraps. Lovely, lovely scraps. And, uh... Yeah, whoever finds those rats is going to be in for a bad time. I think they're over there. leads so let's take a quick look this way this one doesn't seem interested in our sense this is just a cell and the dog and yeah I'm not jumping down in there with the dog <laughs> or whatever the hell that is yeah, those are dogs but they do look Weird. What the heck? I think it's just food. There's our overseer. This dog isn't smelling us, it seems. Even though we were closer. Ah. Thank you. What was that? Guards! To me! Watch out! So much for stealth again. But oh well. Badly, he can't reach us. So 
he should lose interest eventually. Damn it. Where'd he go? Yep. Lost us. Sucker. Or maybe the dog can't smell us because we're above it. It's not really how scent works. These but dogs look weird. And this leads back to in here. Okay, so we, we're probably coming out on the other side of the map. Now we're a lot further away from the entrance to... Uh, where Samuel is. Let's see. Nobody here. Wait, did you hear that? It's the wind. Well, I think I heard rats. And you can hear the rats almost anywhere in this game. Let's see, is this a different entrance into the region? It looks so. That was us drawing our swords. Yeah, and I don't know there's something special about the sword. Yeah, it's starting to get bloodied. Well, that and it has a very special tip that I don't know how to pronounce. I only know how to spell it. Uh, F A S N A strings C. Is I can't you... recognize that. It's... It, I think you pronounce Falsk. And it's supposed to be when you have a one-edged sword with a dual... dual uh, the double-edged tip. Okay. So basically, mostly for swords mainly used for cutting, but you've been given uh, them slight extra sharpness that they can do some piercing. Well, Once we get up there... I think it was mostly covered on some bigger stores or mostly even on cavalry sabers. Sounds well. If, if, if you have this mount and someone has a shield, you can sort of jab under the shield with it. Bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. You may have to look it up. All right. Uh, let's see. I should just not touch the right mouse button at all, unless I specifically have the, the blink button ability. Because these guys aren't deaf. I was to say, question if they they didn't hear it at all, but I guess they did. Yeah, they heard the impacts. And they saw you. Yeah, the one got a glimpse there. When I find you, it's going to be bad. Yes, yes, shut up. Where are you? Oh dear. Hey, just gonna grab something. Uh, and just gonna do this since oh, this I'll seems to be a lucky charm for you. Don't die. <coughs> No promises. Somewhere. We do have a bunch of these sleep darts now. I know you're here. No, you don't. You have a theory. I know you're here somewhere, scum. <coughs> I get. I should. I should probably just switch the mouse buttons. <clears throat> because then how I wasted the freaking sleep dart. You can come along for a little walk. Play oh by order of the city once. Okay, good. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack. Good news, I got ones. Bad news, the hiding place I just shoved them in broke. <laughs> okay. Wait, she's my sister. She's not a witch! I know her! Out of the way! You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? 
She will burn. All witches must burn. Bertolt, don't let them take me. I swear I've done nothing wrong. Silence your lying tongue, foul witch. Someone get over here! You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Well, at least it was a 50-50. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know with some of these cases, I don't really know if you can uh, non lethally take out all enemies. Hey, maybe if we had upgraded sleep darts, uh, because then we can even knock them out in combat. Actually, we should probably save up for that upgrade. Yeah. Before I accidentally used something again. One minor annoyance I do have is that you don't really have an option to cancel the blink unless you swap to something else. Probably didn't need to use the second blink there, but okay. If Biddy's watching, look away. Because... Yeah, if, if too many rats get together, uh, you know what happens. They summoned the Steven Overlord. No, but if... Basically, they're like uh, compies in arc. On their own, no problem. Too many, uh, suddenly you're getting nibbled to death. For example, yeah, just look what uh, Jurassic Park Lost World. And they, I kind of glad that they finally confirmed in the uh, Cretaceous is uh, something that people have been theorizing. And that is, yeah. Huh? The Russian world's compies are poisonous. Or oh, venomous, I mean. Okay. What? One bite, the more they bite you, the more you start to hallucinate. And then there okay. are a lot of, a lot of, uh, if you're supposed to move again and look at under his eyes, they are getting very black and red. I forgot to see the but it means that, yeah, you, you, you're not well. You're in a very panicking mood. Let's see, let's grab all of the useful stuff before we grab the lore. And if I remember right, it's, it's something from the book. For originally in the book, the one that got swarmed by compass was uh, John Hammond. Okay. See, abductee manifest. The following children have been brought to Godfrey's farm, awaiting passage to White Cliff on the 13th day month of seeds. Judith Thornton, Ada Hargreave, Nicholas Rains, Patrick Fogan, Roland Williams, Zachary Clendon, Thomas Jordan, Kent Harkin. Ration allocated 12 crusts of bread, one wheel of block, uh, blood ox cheese, five tins of brined hagfish. Yeah, like we learned before, these assholes kidnap children, and I hope they, with crust, they mean more than just a literal crust, and more like the thing we just picked up here, like half a, a bread. Because uh, if they fed them only that, and some cheese and fish, they'd likely be dead before they even arrived. Then again, that might be the... That might actually be part of the uh, sorting process as we'll call it. See which of them survive on less food than they need. Uh, and I'll keep even worried about blood ox cheese. What? I just hope it doesn't mean the cheese has blood in it. I presume it wouldn't. Now, how do we get there? Or actually... Is this a zone? This... Okay, this is not a zone change, like I thought. Ooh. 
Did I just see someone there? I see runes. And the bone charms, which we haven't found yet. Just taking his last breath. His eyes are still open. Oh, calm down. So I did see someone. Uh, no solicitors. Will they open the door? Oh, that's just uncalled for. Long live the Empress, she was a wench. Oh, come on. Oh, so you will open the door. Corvo still can't run like shit. Okay, catch me up here, jackass. Okay, we, we could probably take out dogs with sleep darts, but I, I'd prefer saving them for others. Or for human targets, ones that we can't just move past. Hmm. Yeah, as long as we don't kill, we should still be safe on uh, not ri raising uh, chaos too much. Okay. Charm is in there. How do we get there? Okay. What the? Okay, we just dodged it. Okay, but <laughs> that was completely accidental. Okay. Yep. Oh. Hmm. There's the charm. Okay. Now, let's see. We have that, we have that. What was these again? Explosive bolts? I don't want to try those out too close to myself, so... Yep. So, we could just do this. Because these rats are lazy and don't want to climb. Let's see. Bone charm situation. Excerpt from a report to the office of the High Overseer by Overseer, High Overseer Garrett. I was asked, should we not tolerate the possession of simple bone charms among the populace? Surely this is a trivial matter, merely a cultural practice seen across the Isles, not as terrible as the creation and coveting of more complex occult runes? Such an insidious question. This foolish distinction, distinction weakens our mission while the stench of the outsider grows thick around us. Perhaps, as some claim, our ancestors tolerated these cursed practices during the time before our modern empire arose, to ease the lives of the lowliest serfs as they paved the roads to civilization. But there is no excuse for witchery in this brighter industrial age. Having educated, adjuncticated the trials of many heretics myself, I swear that their eyes, uh, as the clarity of pain took their lives, was, were grateful to be liberated. Yeah, right. You just tell yourself whatever lie you need to. Okay. Bone charms. Bone charms provide small natural, small supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate up to three bone charms at once in the bone charms section of the journal. Okay, so little boosts. Let's see. Twist of Fortune. Very rarely a potion gives you full mana. Might as well, since we have nothing else. More tools. Trevor, we're going to need another shipment of tools to destroy these accursed bone charms. Though we managed to break down over a dozen last months, there are more coming in from all over Crystal, and the things are remarkably resilient. Edgar. Well, uh, I don't think you'll be using this workshop much in the coming time. Mm. 
Yeah, who you are right about mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Yep, and stuck on a the ledge there for a second. Hmm. I do wonder why the hell did they set up a trap to this? Probably they because they realized the. Oh, this boss has uh, rusted apart. Let's put a truck there in the meantime. Till we can get that fixed. You think they have this thing pointing inwards then? <laughs> yep. Give me that. And there's something else nearby. Let's put you in the corner here. Looks actually pretty decent where he's sitting there. <laughs> oh, straight beneath. Everywhere. How do we get in there? Now, I don't think we'll have a real reason to return to this place later. So it it'll pay to at least explore a part of it. For now, though, no response, so no one nearby to hear. Exploding hounds? Bartholomew, you, I've seen the harnesses you've been devising in that workshop of yours. If you plan to strap explosives to my precious hounds and make living bombs out of them, you can count me out of your plan. I'm the master of hounds here, and without my training, they'll never do as you request. Signs, Wharton. Okay. Bloody heck, I, I know they were doing that in I think it was Second World War. Yep. But it backfired. <laughs> yeah. Uh Russian soldiers trained uh, dogs with uh but they trained the dogs to search <clears throat> they they trained dogs to find food underneath tanks and well then they strapped explosives to them and uh, let them explode it with a timer on a spe to be specific uh, to them and let them loose on the battlefield the only problem was uh, they were trained with Russian tanks so uh, <laughs> they, they turned 180 degrees and headed for their own fucking tanks uh. Uh. Just one of those things that sounds good on paper, but the moment that you actually, well, <laughs> actually think on it, you should realize it's a stupid idea. Yeah, oh, blood heck. There's another one similar that the USA tried, but it never got it field tested because of an accident. But that was bats with bombs. Yeah. And they were to use that in Vietnam, but of course, the bat escaped and blew up the facility they were training the bats in. So, okay. yeah. I think you can figure out why they stopped that program. Okay, that valve is for somewhere that is lacking a valve at the docks. Uh, Metafisk, actually there are some things here that we didn't check. I just rushed out because there was a freaking Overseer looking in. Let's see, music box. Overseer Humphrey, I left you a note of the ancient music. I left you a copy of the ancient music so you might familiarize yourself with the principles I'm employing in this latest variation of Hogger's device, or the music box as the men call it. As you should know, it produces harmonies that would render heretical energies or magic nursed through counterbalancing mathematical principles. Read the book and then make yourself useful by finding us some subjects to test it on. The city is choked with corruption and superstition, so I trust you I won't have to look far. Hi, Artifer, Sir Bartholomew. Yeah, yeah, these things. Yeah. Those will see work later. Device, or the mathematical beauty of the music itself. 
We've seen it in action against the forbidden practices too many times to deny it. But the question no one wishes to ask is, is the incantation itself black magic? The boxes are priceless, but what's inside? Yeah, that's always something to ask. If something counteracts something, does it mean that it is the counter opposite or just another version of it? Let's see. Metaphysica Mysterium, excerpt from a longer band work on supernatural ritual. It is said that we should not sully our hands when combating the force of the word. My studies have been deemed heretical by my brothers, but the rewards have been invaluable. I have harnessed the same energies employed by the outsider and his accursed followers while avoiding their corruption. I would prescribe a twofold method in this task. Indirection, as the unwholesome powers of the outsider use living flesh as a conduit, we can avoid being tainted by using the flesh of others instead. Containment. By using channels or barriers, we can focus these void energies in, ro in a raw state, shooting them from the reverse you know, perspectives of the outsider. Okay, not really sure what they mean with the second one there. By using channels and barriers, we can focus these void energies in a raw state, shooting them from the reverse you know, perspectives from the of the outsider. Okay, so they're saying that the void and the outsider might be separate. Or that the, the outsider exists in the void, but doesn't, isn't its natural ruler or something. I, I might not be understanding that correctly. And we're full on bolts. And full on health tonic. Concerning the crossbows, Campbell, we initially thought it a great find when we came across when we came across some of the crossbows that the assassins have been using to, har har to harry our patrols. The models we found, however, have proven lo lacking. Doubt's men have greater accuracy and range, and I swear their reloads faster. And theirs reload faster. I'm recommending that we stick with pistols and saber and count this as a lesson in where our strengths lie. Sincerely, Bartholomew again. Okay. So we have a name again, Dowd. We have a key. I think he's underestimating the usefulness of a crossbow. Yeah, it's, it's more their own version suck. Uh, can we even... We can't teleport while carrying this. And... Oh. Well, that was accidental. Do you step on them or drop it on them? I think I dropped it on them. And I was so... actually going to kill them. To avoid making a swarm. But <laughs> I did not expect it to drop on them and kill them. Even one of them that died was not even under it. I think it rolled over them. This thing will probably take us to some goodies if we find the right door for it. Just need to be careful since we can't teleport around whilst carrying it. Or apparently climb ledges. Then, then again, we are holding a freaking wheel. And this thing makes a lot of sound when it falls. <laughs> It's a good thing that we uh, took him out earlier. We have one over there. We have one over there. That very much... Yeah, that's an alarm. So, we'll want to either avoid him altogether or take him out. Okay, drop that thing here. I keep mistaking my own sword sounds for uh, an enemy's. Let's see. I could probably take this guy out. Save us a lot of trouble. There's still that other one with the hounds that way, though. So I'm not going to attack while he's over there. 
So in the meantime, high ground. Ah, there's another Houndmaster. You're probably not the Houndmaster. Hound handler then? Yeah. Hmm. He doesn't. There's the other one. He doesn't seem to be moving, so he would be an easy target. Hello. Let's not drop in on whatever conversation is going on there. Another one. Yeah, we'd have to use a lot of sleep bolts to get rid of all of those dogs. So let's at the very least see which of these we can take out on their own. Without a mutt to cover their back. Did he walk all the way back here already? Okay, he walks pretty quickly when he wants to, it seems. And here comes a dog handler. And he stops there, okay. <coughs> oh. Oh, sorry. What the fuck? Yep, what the heck? Oh, I think the dog just... The dog just... Pounced me. All right. Pounced? It pounced. Pounced, all right. He spotted me there because he took a beat on me. Okay, as long as he loses interest and doesn't go to alert the one at the alarm, we should be safe. Oh, he's even splitting off from his dog. To the... Bunkhouse. There's, this, there's a safe in there with 203. I'm not actually sure if killing dogs counts for anything. Again, the one wrong freaking hand. Okay, tough little dog. You took that thing to your head and then <laughs> did a backflip. What the heck? Well, that was a generic uh, guard gives up the chase noise line if we ever heard one. I did hear it. What did he say? Probably the wind. <laughs> For a moment I thought I heard the uh, you've been spotted sting again, but apparently not. Same. Possibly that he got a... He probably heard our footsteps when we stepped in close. Where'd the dog... Where'd the dog go? Okay. Now those rats were quick. Well, there was free hot dog. Can't take any ammo. Not really. I'm not even really sure if uh, we could take their pistols from them. Though I'm not sure if that would actually deny them the use of their pistol. It probably would. It it, it should, because this game goes for a high level of detail with uh, stuff like that. What have we here? Be warned, Bertolt. I found one of our brothers attempting to put a package in the post boxes for the others to find. I believe it to be the evidence of your sister's involvement in witchcraft you spoke to me about. I attempted to stop him, but he insisted that I would burn for her crimes if I was attempting you know, to cover her deeds. I, you should warn her. If uh, See if the two of you can flee the city before they reach her. Your friend and brother. 
Okay, so not, not all of these guys are complete assholes. Well, like we saw with the guy we rescued earlier there, there as well. We miss you. Dear Harold, I don't generally do this, but I came across a letter your parents sent when you were first taken to Whitecliff. Remember that we have rules in place to spare you the decision of trying to make contact with them. We can no longer walk among those we seek to protect. If you would at least read this letter to him, though your motives may be just, we know he's probably scared right now and we're unable to be there for him. Son, we miss you. We're so sorry we can't come to you now and take you from wherever they've stolen you away. Be strong, son. We know you will see uh, we know you will see your way through. Please remember us and try to find us when you're free. We love you. Last night, Windham. Last night was wonderful. Now I'm right at this moment imagining your arms around me and your breast under my neck. I feared for our lives when your fellow overseers found us, but you proved resourceful as always. And no, I won't take your slurs and threats personally. For I know you were merely trying to throw off any suspicions they might have of us. I hope to see you again soon, perhaps in two nights, when you have leave once more. Darian. Thank you. Is that a male name? Yes. I, I don't. I. It was a note earlier with children's name and name because so far all of these uh, overseers we've seen have been male. I'll need to check that note again. If there was a... I think there was a female name amongst them. An Anna, I think. I think so, too. Final warning. Edmund, it has come to my attention that you were, uh, you know where my sanctum is. If I catch you loitering by the statue of Holger again, hoping to run into and perhaps liaise with one of my guests, I'll have you branded a heretic and cast out of the city. Regards, High Overseer Campbell. Okay, that's a hint to, well, the hidden room that we well, followed the jackass to himself. Thank you. Let's see, notes. Where is it? It's not there. More tools, exploding hounds. Hmm. Abduct team manifest. Ada, Patrick, Roland, Zachary, Thomas. These are mostly male names, but these two could be uh, female names. You, well, all right, you could be a female name. I think one of the bodies has been found or something. I hear footsteps over there. And I think this guy got a glance at us because I saw uh, one set of lightning bolts light up around his head. Ooh. Mm. I should plan these attacks out a lot better. At the very yeah. least, the alarm still hasn't gone off. Yeah, but you still allow the assassin. Yeah. Like, many stealth games these days have a lot of things that make it a lot easier for people, like ways to tag enemies so you can see them through walls and such. Or mini maps that act actively show where they are and such. Hmm. Then again, it might also just be that I suck. Probably the latter. And I, as it is, I'm the person that hates when I force into stealth, uh, stealth gameplay. And once again, I, I wasted the freaking bolts. I think there's been some stealth games that almost drove me nuts just because it was so poorly done. And. And an example, I know heroes do, but they had some uh, missions that were, but just the stuff was just so unknowingly done. Come on. Uh, 
at, at least the guy that was in charge of the alarm was knocked out. And I don't think the dog can turn it on. I think he still sees me. You can give up with that now. Ow. <laughs> well. Okay, he's a good shot. I'll give him that. I wouldn't say that since he was shooting the wall earlier. <laughs> I think you should know how inaccurate these types of pistols were back in the day. Yeah. Dog. This looks... What is this? A canteen? I'm going to switch those freaking buttons. This one does look a bit more out of one, so there may be a bit better accuracy on. There. Now watch as I mix them up a freaking again. Yeah, Scooby does a swan dive backwards. <laughs> Already seen that. Give me that. Oh, hello. Combination update. I've up. I've, I've updated the combination of the bunkhouse safe again. It's two or three. As treasurer, it's up to you to make sure it stays secret this time. Don't leave this letter lying around, Brandon. Well, that. Wait, wasn't that the, the one he told us about? Yeah. That's with these. That's uh, something with these uh, games that people call immersive sims. There's, there's typically two or three ways to get to the same thing. <laughs> Let's see. Customs and food of Morley. Excerpt from a traveler's journal. Born and raised in Crystal, I spent my formative years in our smaller cities before settling in magnificent Dunwall. There, in the capital city, I you know, learned to appreciate the finer things. When the opportunity arose to document my travels to Sir. Uh, Sir Konos, Tivia, and finally Morley, I left my position as a clerk for the late uh, uh, Lord Estermont. Perhaps, like so many in Dunwall, I suffer from being excessively cultured, but I found Morley disappointing. Over the course of this journal, I'll explain why I found the Festival of Churners to be tiresome, despite the high banners, bare feet, and red robes, and why the renowned uh, Jelly Ox Tongue is something I will be struggling to forget for many years to come. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't really call what we've seen of this place high culture. Do you just... Hmm? At least chair. <laughs> I don't think uh, he needs his uh, share anymore. No, no, share with me, you bastard. Yeah, I would, but uh, it wouldn't be in the best condition by the time it would arrive. Oh. Wait, if you just cheat, then it just gets better, won't it? Now, I think there oh, was a fruit. I didn't really look at what it was. Maybe you eat a pear and a pie, maybe? Yeah, and, uh, apricot she, heart she, or something. She, she, she. Yeah, you ate several things. I hear footsteps in that direction. Actually, we haven't used this before. Even though we got it. Let's see. The Young Prince of Tivia. Exit from a theater play. Lord, ne <clears throat> Lord Nathan Bale shaking the cowdrage. How dare you, sir? Close it in, so in my very home. I just hand you to the wash, the brave Tivian. Prince Kalisar, Kalisar moving closer. That's your harsh welcome for royalty, my lord. Your daughter treated me with much more hospitality. Last she has gone out for the evening, leaving me all alone. Lord Nathan Boyle, stammering, studying the younger man before him. What are you doing? Leave this house, go back to your frozen wasteland, pale rascal. Prince Kellis is her, smiling coyly, reaching out. No need for anger between us, Lord Bale. Is it so wrong for me to be here? As I have proven, I have developed an affinity for you and your family. Lord Nathan, Lord, 
Lord Nathan Boyle gasping. Oh my, Kalasar, your skin is so warm it burns. <laughs> okay. Uh, that turned quickly. Now there, sh there should be a safe here somewhere, shouldn't there? I think that this was the bunkhouse. I would like to. I would appreciate it if you would consider promoting me to your apprentice formally, so that I might work with you full time. Humphrey. Okay. Draft one. I'm sick of mopping your floors and dusting yourself. So <laughs> of this in hopes of receiving the crumbs of knowledge that you cast my way. If you think I'm going to wait around forever. <laughs> yeah. Draft three. This is in regards to me and my being chosen for the position of your apprentice. If you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you looked at my record of service over the last several months. You will find that I have been... <laughs> Adros. <laughs> I was visited by Holger himself in my dreams last night. He told me I was to do great things for the Abbey, to cast out darkness while I find it, to help arm my brothers with the weapons that reach beyond the physical and into the very heart of the outsider. I think that I'm ready for this task. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd say his fourth attempt was the best one. Uh, I feel like that one probably ended up having them burn burning him. Sense. That's yeah. how the outside gets to you. Close that up. Okay, there are probably still more. Th actually, we know there's more things to find. And there, are, there is a lot in the main area that we didn't go to. But again, I'm. Sw I switched them, and now I'm switching them up yet again. What are we supposed to do with you, Helian? You already made me joke for this uh, swear at you once. Let's see. Oh, actually, would, would calling you a, a boss to really be a swear? Hmm. I wouldn't mind it. So, probably not. Yeah. It's a charm in here. This is me. I extremely rarely swear, especially against people. Actually, the only time I swear against a person is usually in a joyful manner when it's all just I'm not meaning it. But I cannot swear against a person when I'm angry. And also, I use very, yeah, like just a mild bastard, like you jokefully, that like you hear I'm joking. But yeah. But if I, I yeah, extremely rare. I swear, uh, at someone in rage for that that requires to for them to really piss me off. Okay, rats attack you only when you walk closer. That is going to be very useful, I'd say. Let's see. Call to the Spheres, Volume 1. Excerpt from a work of fiction, early chapters. My stomach twisted. Oh, we've seen that one before. That's the space balloon. The Outsider. Excerpt from the diary of a known heretic seized before his execution. For most, the Outsider is nothing but a child's tale meant to instill fear of that beyond the family, the community. Pardon? Okay, but... When I was young, my mother and I were on the run moving from one village or sea town to the next, camping in the woods for weeks along with the cursed overseers uh, at our backs. At night she told me of her dreams, of the empty place where the outsider whispered to her. With each visit her craft grew until she could see through the eyes of moths and unlock a door or window latch from outside a house. I will find this empty uh, place, somehow the key to open the void will fall into my hands. In time I will learn the secret and he will call to me as he called to her. Call me a heretic for my studies, drag me to your cold stone cell, whip my flesh, and put me on trial as an apostate, burn my body to ash. But I will continue to seek the realm of which my mother spoke. It is my life's meaning. And yeah, when you're hunted for something your entire life, uh, you're not really uh, in the mood to think on their perspective of things. Yeah. I think that was where the the valve handle should have gone. Uh, let's have a little look around. There aren't any more charms around here. 
And yeah, that's where the valve was missing. So we could have dragged that thing all the way over, or we could have just gone in the back of the <laughs> into the back. So, need a replacement valve, uh, valve for this door finished at the workshop. Once we install it, we can finally see what's been festering in this supply depot for the past year. Come see me when you want it. It took them a full year before the stench started to bother them. Or bother them enough to actually bother looking into it. What? Yeah, these uh, health standards in this uh, cult is very lacking. Yeah. Yeah, when but when faith is your shield, uh, yeah, you're not going to bother with much else. Is that you? Yes. Who else is walking around with a freaking <laughs> detached uh, heart and this mask on? So yeah, I'm I'm not too hopeful for how uh, how well we've done with the chaos in this mission. Yeah, yeah, stop doing something. We hear footsteps when you climb down a chain. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of an oddity. What the heck? Just why? Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. I'm here. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. Okay. Uh, I, now that we have Samuel here, I have a bit of a list here of uh, other characters these voice actors have done. And on oh, Samuel yeah. here, yeah, it's actually not too uh, impressive. Because the most imp the most notable one that I found on the International Movie Database list was uh, the police chief from L.A. Noir. So, yeah. Oh. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty bosh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Let's see. Hostiles kill three. Alarms rung. No. Dead or unconscious body found three. Overall chaos low. Current total. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess we did we did dodge a lot of them and we knocked out a bunch. And yeah, we didn't get the no kills and we didn't get the ghost uh, mark as well. We rescued Griff the scavenger, saved Captain Corno, and saved Elsa from uh, zealous overseers. I guess they uh, couldn't let it go. <laughs> uh, found five out of seven runes. We missed three bone charms, though we got a very nice one with the rat sand one. Yeah, we do know where one of them were quite near the... Yeah, those just dropping bodies uh, from a bridge. Yeah. And let's move on. Yep, and oh yeah, we we have we were to add fifteen minutes, so we have uh, twenty minutes remaining. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I'll want to congratulate you. Alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. An heirloom that's immediately sold, apparently. Okay, and um, on here with the list for Castilla. Uh, some people might have sort of recognized her already, but uh, she's in Game of Thrones as Cersei Lannister. So, uh, yeah, we might want to be careful around her. 
So, that damn stuff, I actually thought you shot someone by accident. <laughs> uh, knowing me. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent. Why do you be doing that a lot? You know that. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl. Emily. Poor thing. Who knows what her mind is like being there when her mother was killed. I'd imagine the daughter of an empress is tougher than you think. Hmm. Quite right. In any case, we won't get the Lord Regent until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in play. He controls the city watch. Through Campbell, he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. And he currently has a majority in Parliament. Yes, I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting block for my family. I'm very much aware of that. Okay. I'm thinking for a moment on how we could have taken Campbell uh, alive. And that probably would have been through uh, yeah, upgraded sleep darts. I'm, I'm not really sure if you can actually get him to appear outside of that meeting. So you either have to risk Camilla's uh, uncle or just be very well prepared. Hmm. Mm. Possession might have worked as well, because at level 2 you can possess people with that. But, yeah, we we plain didn't, we didn't even have enough uh, runes to unlock it. Actually, how many do we have now? We have three. Uh, yeah, I very much doubt we would have been able to get possession 2 for that, unless we just scoured uh, the first area completely. Eight ruins for <laughs> complete time stopping, which makes sense. Let's see, speed and movement. Anything more for... Mm -hmm. For now, let's actually upgrade Blink, since it'll be the thing that we use the most. All right. And, okay, I actually forgot that this allows you to see people through walls. <laughs> yeah, it has been eight years Attention since I played this game last. Citizens living on the north side of the between John Clavering Boulevard and Dunwall Tower. And before we head over to those two, let's check in with Piero first. My there is something to you, isn't there? You went and spanked the High Overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. Uh, the trigger could use a bit of uh, easing up. <laughs> Can I be of service to you? Why did it duck it down there? Anyways, let's see. He has those. Reload, accuracy, combat, sleep dart. We're getting that. Pistol upgrades. No real needs. Crossing might be useful. Grenade, spring razor, bone charm capacity. Let's save that until we actually find enough bone charms to need it. You actually said that the bone chunk capacity. <laughs> uh, oh, he has a rune even. Okay. A, a, rune? Carved, a carved chunk of whalebone. Yeah, that was said before. Hmm. How many... Let's just fill up. We're going to use those a lot. Okay. On the list... Uh, okay, we... We knew you were rude already, but there's no need to be that rude. <laughs> Piero on the list. Uh, other characters he has played were Wormtongue from Lord of the Rings and freaking Chucky from a <laughs> Child's Play. So yeah, another one we should probably be a bit careful around. Madness. When 
Corvo arrived, he brought some force from the void with him. Or perhaps I'm more brilliant than I even supposed. <laughs> We're starting to hear a lot about uh, visions and dreams, huh? Yeah. Anything to say? Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea. But I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces, too. Okay. Can we... Once? Pa Just to make sure. Wanted me to be an overseer. If he could see us now. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and the money changes hands. Okay, we've seen that from the posters already. He did right, Corvo. And respects you. Even as a faithful man, I can see that. <laughs> okay, just instantly confirm what <laughs> the heart tells us. Okay, Piero. Each and every night to the lag eyed outsider visits upon Piero's dreams. <laughs> that confirms it outright. He is Piero Jocelyn. Even now he visualizes the next dimension. Astonishing. I wish you could see it too. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, yes, Castillo? The yeah, Callista. Was right in recruiting you. Nothing's been the same since the Lord Regent took power. But at least Campbell's gone and my uncle lives. Uh, you can get that barrel out of your throat. <laughs> the heck was that? Yeah, it's just sounded weird. And she she's is Callista Kerr now. She has learned to defend Some nights, I'm glad see. I just paddled the boat. Uh, you were going to say? I wanted to say, get better clothes for some of the boat that looks like they will rip if she tries to fight. She and her uncle, the last of the Kurnow family. She dreams of freedom, and then the decks of whaling ships fast after the beasts of the sea. But alas, she's a woman. Mm, typical. Now, let's just get a bit more on these two, and then we go talk. Such laughter, and then they're singing the old songs, laying arms. That was from a time. Are you talking about Pendleton or the pub here, Miss Hart? Deals are made here, sometimes under the influence of Yeah, heart. that's totally for the pub, sometimes not these two. And hello the there. Is the point of a knife. Hello, hello. We should keep this thing out a bunch more. It makes for better companionship than most of the other people here. Where is that? There it is. Thank you. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river. Men or hound. They all go in. I know this team is saying a woman of your own heart. I think you're taking it a bit uh, wrong here. Yeah, I didn't say that. You could have taken that as a meaning. But, uh... <laughs> uh okay, for once you have me beat on the wordplay. <laughs> gotcha, boy. And I didn't say you said it, I said people say it. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. 
If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Why don't you put the gun by your waist and why... Without a leader, the Abbey's going to be in disarray for a while. But how to take advantage? Yeah, continue on. Is that a bug for... I see no reason for him to just put the gun on his chest like that. Yeah, old sailors. Uh, you've probably seen illustrations of pirates and such uh, where sometimes they have uh, uh, pistols strapped to their chest and such. Yeah, usually several because yeah. just to say time to not reload just you stop, grab another. You stop, grab another. He, he doesn't need it to have it on his chest like that. Yeah, it could be more of a yeah, signal that he is part of the Navy and such. Uh, before we go to sleep with this, let's first clamber around a bit. Attention, and Dunwall citizens. just go chat you with people some more. And we'll check out the audiographs. And guardsmen are authorized to carry out this sentence on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally forfeit. Uh, of course. Make any uh, sort of resistance legal. But yeah, we can end it. We can move on to the next uh, quote unquote level. Oh, hello. By our own choice. What the heck are you even doing up here? Okay. Let's go sneak in his uh, in his room and read his notes. Please, sir. I was never in service with the noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Helm Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future Empress? You will be in the presence of the most important person in the entire known world, and you don't know how to curtsy. Welcome back, just a Master child. Corvo. And she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find her, I'll have you know. Please learn your manners before then. Someone's a bit of a kiss ass. Yeah. Cecilia. Sometimes I wonder if the plague is just going to go on and on and on and kill everyone ever, and it's the end of the world. Think of that. Well, the black death definitely looked like that. Hello. Yeah, I do not think what she said for, well... Yeah, Current, I don't think... Uh, it... <laughs> times? Yeah, then again... The developer probably wouldn't know this would happen if you, in the current time now. Yeah. Oh, hello. My father served in the field under General Alfred Pendleton, where he took the wound that crippled him. I hope I will do no less if called upon. Until then, well, there is plenty of silver to polish. Is uh, silver what you call Pendleton's ass, Wallace? Um, family crisis. Cousin Anna, Morgan, and Kurt uh, Custis continue to uh, resist my efforts and are no longer responding to my letters. The servants tell me they've been absent from the manor for some weeks. My brothers have always been arrogant, utterly convinced of their own certainty when they don't, uh, and they don't really give two fakes for anyone else in the world, unless they want something and can and take it outright. But this disagreement over the upcoming parliamentary vote has reached a crisis point. Up till now, the Lord Regent has been somewhat restrained in his authority 
at least where the holdings of the gentry have been concerned. If Morgan and Custis vote in his favor, the law will be changed and we will all be at risk, aristocracy or not. I implore you if you know where they are to speak with them. Lord Trevor Pendleton. Hmm. Okay. Memoir, chapter 28. Waverly, Waverly, Waverly. The very name sweeps one away. She came into our cold marble hall and brought light and warmth. She changed our lives forever. It was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel, like all the boils. Okay, he doesn't like them. Hello again, Cecilia. I didn't see a voice actor for Cecilia on uh, IMDb. Okay. I might, I might not have looked too deeply for that. I mostly just... I don't go utterly research, re, uh, researching each and every person that is a, a voice actor in these games. Corvo's proved his abilities beyond question. It's not anyone who can walk into Holger Square and put down the High Overseer. And now we're faced with the question, could he be dangerous? Events are going to move quickly now. The storm's rising. You specifically got me because <laughs> we're dangerous. And we've... Admiralty and the fleets. Okay, well, each of the Isles is uh, something that... Uh, I think... Yeah, we've seen this one before as well he removed no he, he just tossed it off the table it's Harpooner songs already seen as well we've seen that as well snack do what a drunken whaler what do you do what a drunken whaler what do you do <laughs> okay that's the young prince again shadow and bitter leaf Excerpt from a longer work of fiction. Finding my way by the feeble light of the dying fire, I saw her working. A large needle moved in her hands, following precise esoteric patterns, knots and loops of seamless aircraft from the ancient days. Beneath her needle, his body clenched and shuddered, shaking the wooden table. A morbid fascination pushed me closer, until she turned her blank face towards me, resting the needle in his flesh. With a refined tone, she addressed me. So you are the lover, I presume. You two have been unfaithful, and it is now your turn to be mended. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Run! This is a reminder that walls of light erected in our streets are for your protection. However, they will respond to any touch or approach with lethal force. Furthermore, it is a misdemeanor to throw any object or animal into a wall of light, whether for amusement or with criminal intent. Okay. Now, we shouldn't be surprised that some people would do that. Yeah. Because there's always pranksters and there's always assholes. Yeah, no, I, I remember someone, he's, he was a dummy idiot to get it filmed himself. He, he and his friend filmed themselves jumping on a manatee. Okay, does he want to get Steve or a rinse? So why well, the heck is this locked off? I'm pretty sure he got arrested because he posted it on YouTube. Yeah, because uh, those types are never too clever, huh? At least we are, yeah. in a way, we are lucky that they are, they are that dumb. Yeah, I think there was another one big video where someone did something worse than just jumping. I feel for the world. Got a photo, caught if they throw something at it. Hmm. That could be very harmful, but I forgot what. Yeah, okay. Probably, forgot, I think I forgot it because it just enraged me so much. Good chance, yeah. Let's see. Are we going to get another nighttime visitor? Martin is on his way to join the loyalist, and Campbell's fate has thrown the overseers into disarray. Decoding the High Overseer's journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwell. No, oh, Caldwin. Yeah. And nope. No visitor. 
But we do have a chat with the Admiral. And then we can probably call it. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to double check if games are working before a stream from now on. Yeah, I, yeah. It, yeah, I have no idea what FaceX would break like that. Yeah, if it happens again, at least we know what how to fix it. Yeah. Where Unless the fix stops working. That was just reinstalling it, so simple enough. Treasonous speech and actions. The state depends on you. <laughs> Extra coins. Hmm. Okay, we can just get out here. <laughs> Pardon? Wait, did you realize? Hmm? One of the mates were up there brooming. Yeah, I, I think that was just a coincidence, as they will just go on in their routine <laughs> during the cutscenes and such. I will make it me need that. Over there. Over there. Right, I was saying, why are you, why broom fence flooring? They top off the line. Think about that. But eventually, someone swoons. Then the fresh bottles are fetched from the cellars. To think. Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. I'm not really sure what they mean with that, but typically uh, uh, most nobles are assholes all the same. Or is that implying that he isn't as bad as all the nobles? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Perfect timing for a cry there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you wanted to uh you you asked what weepers are last time. Well now you'll get to see. Last time I hosted it earlier today. Early on the stream even. Let's see. What is this? Hello? Some whale oil. And... Okay, this is underneath the stairs, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. But yeah, these Reapers are basically zombies. Though you can also take them out non lethally And... Oh, there. There's two of them. Hmm. That's one. Actually, can we choke these out? Yes, we can. Not that we'd rather want, we'd rather not be close, but uh, yeah, it's not their fault that they ended like this. And hello, <coughs> an ancient note. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting or ever again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the results of our labors here for you to keep. But expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. Well, they didn't. Hmm. Wait. 
Why am I hearing? Oh, hello there. <laughs> See? It's like getting a, a second card out of one of those old dr card drawing machines. And anyway, let's just go back. Uh, I'm not sure how prevalent they might have been, but back in the previous neighborhood that I lived, though. Oh, hello, Cecilia. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Uh, but yeah, they. Back in the, law, yeah, back in the neighborhood that I grew up in, there was a machine where you could basically you could put a, a fifty cent coin into it, and then you could spin a wheel on the sides for a bit, uh, and it would push out a card, a Yu-Gi-Oh card to be specific. And yeah, people started figuring out that if you turned it you know, the right way, or you could actually sometimes get two cards out of it at once. That's the first minute to hear. I might have to look up how those things. You know, I, yeah, I'll, I'll look up a picture if I can find one of those. But for now, Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Yep. <laughs> We're going through the brothel. Oh dear. Wait, is that? I know the golden You don't need to censor anything, right? Patron, mind you. Hmm? I designed no. some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints. If anyone is curious, don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry. I only thought. Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. I'm not really sure I want to know what sort of devices he might have found, figured out for... Well, that. So, do you have anything new to say? Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Okay, nothing new. But, uh, yeah, let's have our chat with uh, Pendleton here, and then we'll call it. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch. So it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Uh, 
Okay, it was probably more than noticeable for everyone there, but yeah, he has makeup up uh, on, but uh, not done too terribly well. Yeah, yeah that, that's something I like about this type of uh, design and such. Characters aren't really prettied up. They are pr probably intentionally made somewhat ugly on purpose because it, it also keeps them uh, apart from each other. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that really counted as a safe point. I didn't I didn't notice the save mark in the corner either way, but I didn't really look for it. But uh, yeah, we can call it here. So yeah. Not entirely as planned with that, and we did skip a lot in the place that we could have uh, investigated. We could have looked into that trader's mark, which again it would have kept him alive, which would have, uh, which would have kept chaos even lower if it were possible. Uh, but otherwise, we we did well with that, even if we got caught a bunch of times. <laughs> it yeah. just means that I have to pay attention a lot more. Yep, and get that see-through wall thing. Yeah, we already have it. I just forget to use it at all. <laughs> uh, the, uh, which one is it? There it is. Number eight. Yeah, this... It is... Wait, it, it's not draining our... It's not draining our mana. Is it's it food? No. You'd think so. Hmm. Or maybe it is because we're in a safe zone. We'll just have to see next time. So, yeah. Thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you especially, as always, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah. In two days, more Dishonored, where uh, we'll be going after the Pendletons. But, as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks!